Okay, hey everybody, Jason Wright here for another episode of ThreatWise TV. And today we're talking about another one of the most important topics in security, email security, the number one threat vector. And we've got actually a new product that we're introducing in that name. We're, as you know, we already have our email security appliance for, uh, for the hardware on-premises. And we have our cloud email service as well uh, to inspect things from a cloud-based perspective. But to talk about what's new, I brought in Christian Clausen, who is one of our technical marketing engineers. Christian, thanks for joining us. How are you doing out there today, man? I'm great, how are you? Good, excellent. Uh, glad to be able to be continuing our ThreatWise TV episodes from home. So, but let's talk more about what it is that we're launching. I've heard this is called Cisco's Cloud Mailbox Defense. Is that correct? That's right. Internally, it's been known as Project Raptor. So if you've heard that in the uh, halls of Cisco Live, it's now Cloud Mailbox Defense officially. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about uh, Cloud Mailbox Defense. Why are we moving to a third product when we've already got a, a cloud email-based solution? What's the difference and, and where are we trying to go there? Great question. So we are not replacing any products uh, with Cloud Mailbox Defense, as you said. We're really going after a uh, kind of new market segment. Gartner has coined the term cloud email supplemental security, CESS. And there's a lot of customers who moved to cloud email. They migrated from on-premise and they threw away their gateway or they thought they could just run with the native security controls that were in the cloud. And then they came running back because it really wasn't enough to protect their mailboxes. Just having HTTPS online protection didn't do it for them. And so they need something more. And what they want is something easy, something simple that they can plug into Office and go. These are customers that are in the SMB space up to maybe mid-level commercial. They're kind of small and they don't have the overhead to run something like cloud email security, something that takes operational overhead. They don't need all of the plethora of features, features that we have in that product. Um, and so we want to give them an alternative that competes with Microsoft's HTTP one that's very inexpensive, that's very simple to deploy, doesn't interrupt their mail flow, and, uh, and gives them the security they need. So that's why we're introducing this product. Okay, interesting. So a little bit uh, more of an easy to use product that's giving you a great additional layer of defense, but not requiring a full security specialist to, to be able to manage and monitor it, uh, and not a replacement for CES or ESA, but possibly an addition, is that correct? That's right. Yeah. So primarily we're going after customers who don't run a gateway or an appliance like CES. There is a play to augment CES. And the reason for that is because CES is a perimeter device. It watches emails that comes into your environment as it leaves, but it can't see messages that only go in between internal users. And that's increasingly important as account takeover um, becomes a real threat to businesses with cloud email. So in order to catch lateral movement, malware that's propagating internally over email, you need something like Cloud Mailbox Defense because we sit in Microsoft's cloud, meaning we're running all our scanning engines, our connections to Talos Security Intelligence, to AMP, to ThreatGrid. All that is happening natively in Azure. And we can see every message, even messages that go in between internal users. So for customers that are already running it, they can augment it by getting that internal scan. Yeah, and I heard a couple of, of, of important points there. Number one, working directly in the Azure cloud where O365 is being hosted. And number two, being able to monitor intra-domain communications, if you will, um, uh, just not just things that are going in inside and outside the organization, but if you and I were to send an email uh, you know, to each other, uh, being able to monitor that. So it sounds interesting. Let's not wait any longer. I know you've got a demo for us. Let's see what you got. I'm, I'm eager to see what this product looks like. Yeah, sure. So I'll show you what our integration environment looks like. This product uh, has not been released yet. It's being announced this week and it will go generally available in August. So this version is our integration version. It has our latest beta features in it, but it's not a complete version of the product. So be aware we'll have much more than this in our initial release. So as you can see, our homepage, our dashboard is incredibly clean. We wanted to go for that Google type look. Um, we want something that's really simple, really powerful and really intuitive that anybody can use it, security admins, um, 
email administrators, incident responders. We want them to be able to use this tool um, equally uh, as powerful and simple. So you can see we have a couple widgets. We're gonna add some more statistics and more widgets in our dashboard. This one shows the total number of scan messages and the total convictions in the last 24 hours. Here you can search. I'm gonna search for pay. And that takes us to our search and triage dashboard. We can see how fast that ran. Um, we have hundreds of thousands of emails in this instance, and we found about 100 results uh, just that quickly. So here you can search and triage every message, and that means internal messages, external messages, doesn't matter, every single record in your environment very quickly. And what we can see here is all the details of the message. You can see the envelope from uh, the sender information, any recipients, any information that overflows this card, you can see in the slide out and any emails that overflow, you can hover to see the, the entirety of them. Our reports page, these are only two reports that we have in our current beta environment, but it gives you an idea of the aesthetic we're going for and how the reports work. This one shows the breakup of messages, uh, what's internal, external, what's mixed, meaning there's internal and external users. You can slide across the timeline to find it for a particular time period. In our convictions report, so there's the, thing, the same thing, but it shows a breakup of what messages were convicted as malware or spam and phishing. And very much like Umbrella, you can work across the slider and you can see these points that give you the count of uh, malware or the count of spam at a given time in the bar. But what I really wanna emphasize here uh, before we finish up the demo is how simple the policy is. So like I said, we're going after customers who don't need complexity, who want something that's really easy. We literally have three policy options. You choose the mode, which is audit versus audit with enforcement, whether we can actually uh, action against messages or not. This is perfect for POV. We have attachment uh, analysis settings so that you can choose what attachments you send to ThreatGrid, because we understand that not all customers are going to want to send their internal attachments or maybe any attachments to a cloud sandbox. And then you decide what you wanna do with malware and what you wanna do with spam and phishing. Uh, you can move or permanently delete the messages. We wanna abstract away all the complexity around thresholds or scores. We just wanna tell the customer, this was the verdict, what do you wanna do with the message? Right. And so in the back end, where we're getting all of that intelligence, obviously Talos, uh, as our intelligence uh, organization, a lot of smart people that are watching things and, and, and even in an automated fashion looking for IP addresses, links, domains, attachments, uh, and, and, and understanding what's in these files to know if they're good or if they're bad. So that's just all kind of baked in here and how we're deciding whether things are good and bad uh, when you turn these, uh, these uh, uh, security features on. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, we've got Talos Intelligence, Cloud URL, URL Analysis to look at embedded URLs, AMP and ThreatGrid for file attachments. We have multiple engines looking at the body of the email to spot business email compromise and phishing and other social engineering attacks. It's the full gamut of Cisco security, but running native in Azure so that we are as close to the mailbox as possible. And it certainly couldn't be much more simple to use and configure and set up. I, I've seen just a, a few screens here. You've got your whole policy ready to go. So obviously that's that's some of the big difference between either our uh, on-prem or cloud-based uh, ESA and CES that I mentioned earlier. And so that's why we've got a separate product here in Cloud Mailbox Defense. Was that is that true? Yeah, and it actually is even better because not only is the policy simple to set up, the deployment is much simpler because with something like CES or ESA, you have to change the way your mail flows. You change your MX record so that mail gets delivered to a different place where it can be scanned before it's sent to Office 365. We don't require that at all. Your mail flow isn't changed in any way. Mail is delivered to Office 365 normally, and we get a copy of that message instantly because we're running in Azure, and then we action the message directly against the mailbox, and we can do that usually before it even shows up in the user's inbox. All right, so simple to deploy, easy to use, obviously very fast. 
uh, looks like a great product for the mid market and, and mid to lower end, or a complement to uh, our existing users of ESA and CES. So, man, I, I got to say, this is uh, really fantastic. Glad to see us continuing to evolve our email security prowess and functionality and capability and and uh, and moving along that spectrum again as the number one threat vector. So I'm going to send um, actually before I finish up, let's talk about availability. Uh, when are we expecting this to be available for customers and how do they get it? Yeah, so we're announcing in Cisco Live this week. It's going to be available in August. We'll ship first in the beginning of August. Um, GA will be around the impact conference uh, at the end of August 2020. Okay, and that being our, our internal sales conference that's uh, that's coming up this summer. So I'm going to send uh, people to a couple of different links uh, as well for more information. Obviously, there's other ThreatWise TV videos at cisco.com slash go slash ThreatWise. You can hear about some of these other email security products, leave it some thought leadership about what's going on and how they evolve. Um, if you want to know more about this technology and our email security technologies in general, Always cisco.com slash go slash email security is our main email security marquee page. So there'll be a lot of information there. And if you want to get on a mailing list and stay in touch with us about this, cloud.mailbox.defense at cisco.com is an email that you can write to us and get signed up. And then we'll put you on a mailing list and stay in touch with you if you want to have a little more proactive conversations about it. But otherwise, Christian, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning into this edition of ThreatWise TV.